Saudi Arab is the 13th largest country by its size, covering around 2 million square kilometers. Saudi Arabia possesses around 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves. The oil and gas sector accounts for about 50% of gross domestic product, and about 70% of export earnings. Apart from petroleum, the kingdom's other natural resources include natural gas, iron ore, gold, and copper. Saudis are the custodian of the holy cities of Makkah and Medina. The title was sometimes regarded to denote the de facto caliph of Islam. Saudi key rival in the Middle East is Iran. Saudi Arab and Iran are in a war to dominate the region. These countries are carrying out proxy wars in Syria and Yemen to increase their influence in the Middle East. Saudi relations with Qatar and Turkey are also unpleasant. President Erdogan accused the Saudi government of being non-Islamic. Saudi Arab occupies 80% of the Arabian Peninsula and is bordered by Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, UAE, Yemen, and Oman. Its extensive coastlines on the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea provide great leverage on shipping, especially crude oil through the Persian Gulf and the Suez Canal. Saudi Arab is a desert, and like every desert, it faces a shortage of water. There are no rivers or lakes or areas of abundant natural vegetation because rainfall is scarce to non-existent. Over the centuries, through oases and then desalination plants, the Saudi people have found enough water to support their daily lives. Saudi Arab is the place of the birth of Islam. Islam grew from Saudi Arabia and spread throughout the world. Muslims all across the world respect Saudi Arab and its government as they are the custodian of the Makkah and Medina. Each year almost 2 million Muslims from the world visit the holy cities for pilgrimage, which significantly contributes to its GDP. Saudi Arab has the 17th largest GDP in the world with a worth of $780 billion. According to GDP per capita, Saudi Arab holds the 40th position in the world. Saudi Arab is predominantly an oil-based economy. It is the largest exporter of petroleum in the world and the second largest producer of oil. No country can rely on natural resources merely, because sooner or later it will deplete. If all the oil reserves in Saudi get depleted, Saudi has no other source of income. For that, the Saudi government is now trying to reduce its dependency on oil and shift to more diverse economic resources. Another source of income for Saudi Arab is Muslim pilgrimage. Millions of Muslims visit Saudi each year for pilgrimage. Together the Hajj and the Umrah add $12 billion to Saudi Arabia's GDP per year, which accounts for 20% of the country's non-oil GDP and 7% of total GDP. Saudi Arab is the largest importer of weapons from the United States. In 2017 Saudi made the biggest arms deal in human history with the U.S., according to which the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will purchase arms from the United States totaling US$110 billion United States dollars immediately, and US$350 billion over 10 years. Saudi Arabia has the world's third largest defense budget. It spends 8% of its GDP on its defense. Global Firepower ranks Saudi Arabia military as the 17th strongest military in the world. Let's look at the military strength of Saudi. Total personnel, 803,000. Active personnel, 478,000. Reserve personnel, 325,000. Tank strength, 1,062. Armed fighting vehicles, 12,825. Air strength, 879. Fighter aircraft, 270. Naval strength, 55. Submarines, 0. Saudi Arab is a Sunni Muslim majority country while Iran is a Shia majority country. Both are carrying out proxy wars Yemen and Syria. The rivalry also extends to disputes in Bahrain, Lebanon, Qatar, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nigeria, and Morocco, as well as broader competition in North and East Africa, parts of South Asia, Central Asia, and the Caucasus. Saudis are supporting Sunni militias, while Iran is supporting Shia militias in the region. The conflict between Saudi Arab and Qatar is going on since 2011. Qatar supported the Arab uprising, while Saudi opposed it. Arab uprising was a series of anti-government, rebellious protests which resulted in the overthrow of dictators. It started from Tunisia and spread to Libya, Syria, Egypt, Yemen, and Bahrain. 
Saudis worried that this could ignite the public and they can start a protest against the dictatorship in Saudia, which will put their government in danger. The same situation happened in 1979 in Iran, when the Pahlavi dynasty was overthrown by the public, and the government was replaced with an Islamic republic under Ayatollah Khomeini. Saudis fear the same could happen with them. So any country that supported the uprising, Saudia made that its enemy. Qatar openly supported the uprising as its government knew that the public is satisfied with them. Both states are allies of the United States and have avoided direct conflict with one another. Turkey sided with Qatar. President of Turkey Tayyip Erdogan accused Saudi Arabia of being heretic and non-Islamic. In March 2018, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman referred to Turkey as part of a triangle of evil, alongside Iran and the Muslim Brotherhood.